Now that you've reviewed the design brief and videos for a gripper mechanism, I'm going to give you an overview of the design process in Autodesk Inventor. The first design is a roller mechanism, however it has a fixed size and as you can see would not effectively grip a smaller can. The second design is a pincher mechanism. It can move, but again it can only grip cans of a specific size. We need to look at a design that has the ability to move the grippers so that cans of any size can be manipulated. Based on the first two designs then, we can see that we need to change our design so that the grippers can move and change the diameter of the can that can be selected. To do that, we're going to use a parallel four bar link mechanism. Moving the gripper, you can see that the faces of each gripper stay parallel and we can now grip cans of any size. Now that we have a digital prototype of the gripper, we can use a 3D printer to create a working prototype of the gripper. Here we see that prototype grabbing the can. With the prototyping complete, we can now build a model of the gripper in Autodesk Inventor. The 4-bar link mechanism is driven by a small motor. That then drives a small gear, and that gear drives the two grippers. Using Inventor Studio, we can also create an animation of the gripper so that people can see just how that mechanism operates. In the videos that follow, I will show you how to model the gripper mechanism and the parts that go together for that assembly.